Voter impersonation is not a problem. Families living in their cars in rural Minnesota is a problem. Veterans coming home from war and living under bridges in our cities, that's a problem. I'm sure you're not told this enough, but we really appreciate your public service and your commitment to the state, and we just strongly hope that you'll put jobs and housing as a priority over this constitutional amendment. Thank you. Um, this is my grandma. Her name is Ramona Curran. She's 78, and she lives in Holly, Minnesota. She recently downsized from her three-bedroom apartment to a one-bedroom apartment to cut back on expenses because she lives on a fixed income. At the same time she moved, she was denied a renewal for her driver's license because she could not pass the test. So she did not get a new ID card with her current address. She has no family who lives in town and no mode of transportation. She always votes and if the election were held today, she would not be able to cast a ballot. While she was told about this, when I told her about this impending law, she said she had no idea they were even debating it and didn't understand why after voting consistently for her entire life, she would have to change how she voted. She's able to cash checks and do all her normal tasks without a current ID and didn't know she would even have to get one since she no longer can drive. While she remains very sharp in general, this idea frightened, um, she grew very anxious at the idea of not being able to vote because it is so important on her. This is the burden we'll be placing on people. Thank you. And if you've got any uh, bartender uh, at any bar in a college town and ask that bartender whether people use uh, false ID cards to get a drink, uh, I think we all know the answer. If you go on to Google and look for uh, identification papers, there are all kinds of sites where you can create your own uh, false ID. I'm not promoting this, but the point is that it's really easy to do. And so this whole idea about whole idea about voter photo ID is protecting the integrity of elections really is, is filled with lots of holes. As a black woman, there is no place in this legislation that state a minority person will not be allowed to vote. In fact, it clearly indicates the need for equal verification for all voters, as well as that provided free of charge for those that are low income and cannot afford it. From a disability point of view, as a mom who has a son with disability, in order for anyone, a child or an adult, to be certified disabled and receive state and or federal disability services, one must prove who they are and that they're eligible to get disability services by providing proof with a picture on it. No one can vouch for anyone, including my son, to get disability services. Therefore, the notion that minorities and immigrants and disabled persons will not be allowed to vote because of this legislation is completely false and saturated by using emotions rather than facts.